Okay guys, you found Paul Daddy's Blind Hog Barbecue, and today I've got another good stock Angus Tomahawk ribeye. I've done a previous video where I cooked one on my Yoder Wise 1500 from start to finish, but this one, we're gonna start in the oven, we'll finish it on the tabletop grill, and it's a Oklahoma Joe's Rambler, very inexpensive charcoal grill, but I think it's gonna turn out great. This steak comes in just a little over three pounds. I'm gonna start in the Cook Shack Maracu smoker, and then after I get it up to temp, I'll move it over to the Oklahoma Joe. Dried it off with some paper towels, and I'm gonna just put a little bit of olive oil on it as a binder. It's got some butter infusion in this oil, so maybe that'll give us a little flavor kick. I've got some mesquite smoked salt, and I'm gonna use some coarse ground pepper. Okay, I've added a little coarse ground pepper and then I'm gonna go back with some finer grain pepper. Press it in. And now, I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator overnight. We're gonna put this in the oven tomorrow, start the reverse sear, and we'll finish it up on the Oklahoma Joe Rambler. it gets up in the neighborhood of 80, flip the steak over one time. I've got my oven set at 225 degrees, so we're shooting for 117, 118 in that neighborhood. I've got the steak ready to put on. The temperature gauge is showing 415 or so. I checked the temp with my gun, and it's well over 600 degrees in most places. I'm using grill grates but I have reversed them, so I'll get the maximum amount of area to sear. I'm going a minute on each side, and then I'm gonna flip it. It's time to take it off. We've been in about a 20 minute rest, so let's cut into it and see what we got. Got a uniform pink color all the way through. That's gorgeous. Got a nice crust. All this steak needs is some more of that carrot gold butter, and you can't beat it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time at Paul Daddy's Blind Hog Barbecue.